Hi, my name is Unal Kashif. I'm a biochemistry major at Stony Brook University, class of 2026. I'm working with Dr. Maya Shelley in the College of Arts and Sciences, Department of Neurobiology and Behavior. This summer, I researched critical protein-protein interactions to begin to delineate a novel signaling pathway responsible for mediating forgetting. In Dr. Maya Shelley's lab, we look at the molecular events that give rise to distinct neuronal morphology and function during development. And so the way that we learn, the way that we create memories is heavily reliant on this dynamic structural nature of neurons. But what's less understood is how we forget and we need to forget to learn. And so our project dives into this big question of how do we forget? And we look at the scaffold protein called Scribble because we think it's a main player in coordinating this process. This summer, we identified key proteins that we think interact with the scaffold protein Scribble and we were able to express these combination of proteins in conjunction with wild type scribble and mutated versions of scribble to see what the expression level would be like. And then we would collect cell lysates, run co-amino precipitation assays to determine if there's some sort of an association between any two given proteins. And this extensive effort really is the foundation for the larger project because it lends a line of validity to the future experiments that we want to do because we want to see this association in acute brain slices and track the localization of these proteins in hippocampal neurons. I've always been interested in learning the molecular physiology behind psychotic disorders because two of my best friends actually deal with mental illnesses that relate to psychosis. And my current project is a great start because I get to learn how neurons develop and change over time. And a lot of these psychotic disorders arise because there's abnormalities in this process. And so being able to understand that brings me one step closer to being able to, you know, actually help my friends because I have a deeper understanding of these psychotic disorders. Being a Francis Vallée Fellow definitely enhanced my college experience because it taught me how to think critically, but also creatively at the same time. A lot of the times you have these problems in front of you and you're like stuck and you want to like figure it out in one sort of way, but you kind of have to think outside of the box to be able to troubleshoot these problems. And not only did it help me like become a stronger thinker, but it also really helped me in terms of being able to manage different tasks because when you're in a lab all day long, you need to be able to allocate time properly so that all your experiments are done in a timely fashion. And they're also being done with your best foot being put forward. I want to go to medical school because I want to become a physician and my interests lie in neuropsychiatry. And that's one of the fields where there's a lot of biochemical applications. And what's really great is that a lot of the proteins that I'm currently working with are involved in these pathologies. So not only do I get to get a strong understanding of these proteins right now, I'll be able to apply this knowledge later down the road, which is something really exciting. And also just being part of this research experience has taught me how to be an effective communicator when it comes to science and being able to explain what I want to say to a general audience. And I think that's definitely an important skill to have as a physician. I'd like to thank the Francis Villay Fellowship and the Panafil Foundation for supporting my research this summer. I'd also like to thank the College of Arts and Sciences faculty in summer for making this collaboration possible.